Hello everybody. I wanted to bring this to you earlier, but unfortunately I've had technical complications all day bringing videos to you. And now that I'm looking at my microphone actually working, I'm hoping I have at least two or three minutes to tell you about this story. Coming from Boya Life Group and Partners, China has built, it's already been built, the world's largest industrial cloning factory. This is only probably one building out of probably a hundred on the campus or the uh, proving grounds, if you will, if you want to talk about what this is and what this is not. I have tried to do this, I kid you not, at least 12 times. My exploit's gone out, my internet's been cut out, lots of other things, so let me get to this for you. I have several sources for you. My first source comes from IB Times. My second source from physics.org. My third source, telegraph.co.uk. My last source, physics.org page because that's what I've been trying to put up because this seems to have relatively the best information and majority of the ones I'm finding unfortunately are basically copies of what I consider to be this one being the primary page. Now this is actually a big deal because what they're doing is they're cloning cattle which is fine and they're doing everything they're cloning cattle, that seems to be their major thing, but they've cloned police dogs. They've cloned anything you can name. And now scientists eye human replication. But they're holding back for uh, personal reasons and reasons for public outcry and public rage, etc. Because at that point, creating people will no longer be an act of God. It'll be an act of industry. And since they can literally pump out a few hundred thousand a year, well, logically speaking, they can pump out an army or anything else they want. And let me talk to you a little bit about what they've done. Because this is no longer, oh, let's pump out 25 canines like this one over here and call it a clone. This is not what they're doing, folks. They've pumped out canines with better searching and better sniffing skills they've pumped out cattle with better meat they've pumped out horse race or yeah horses for horse races folks that have better muscle capacity and everything else this is literally cloning 2.0 is what this is they're actually taking the industry to science fiction levels so at this point they will not be doing anything more than trying to basically replace who and what we see on a daily basis. Thus making people into a commodity rather than something that you and I look at. I don't like this, you don't like this, but this is the future and this is what is going on. Um, I, right now I'm reading from ivtimes.co.uk, China Giant Cloning Factories Advanced Enough to Experiment on Humans. Well, they're actually, they haven't done the industrialization of their human cloning factory portion that we're aware of, and they're claiming they're holding back, but you know what that means. That means they're doing it in a private capacity with probably a hundred staff members rather than a thousand. Um, China's cloning factory to produce cattle, racehorses, and pets. Um, one of the other things they're doing is pets. Um, if you have a cat or dog or anything else that has died, they can clone that for you. And 
the most they've charged for that is $100,000. So these guys are doing it privately for Buku dollars. So they want to say that they're withholding the cloning of human beings. I say that's complete bullshit. I'll give you the sources, ladies and gentlemen, right now, for whatever reason, and I don't even know what the reason is, but my web pages are circling like crazy and they're not allowing me to scroll. So I'm tired of this. I have put this up nicely. I have been doing everything legally. I've been sourcing my files and everything else. And for some reason, all day long, and could just be something to do with my internet in the area and the cable lines, etc. But I don't begin to prescribe to uh, anything because I'm using XSplit and that has nothing to do with my internet connection. Even when I've turned off my internet, my internet and my XSplit have been acting funny. I've tried it on my laptop. I've tried it on my desktop. I was about to try it on my phone, but I noticed that it would probably be over my data limit. So I'm going to let you guys go. I want you guys to look into this, read these sources on your own, please and thank you. As always, God bless and everything else. Remember, this is the idea, folks. These guys are playing God, and they're going to start cloning people. They've probably already done it privately, just like we know Chicago University probably has been doing it for years. Uh, if you look at the DNA sample from Akhenaten, the DNA sample from Obama, out of Chicago University, it was done. And they're something like a 99.99999 in to infinity match. Oddly enough. And we know that, you know, they've been cloning dead celebrities, dead this, dead that for years. Um, Colin Powell was said to have died two or three years ago. And he was on stage, what, six months ago? Eh, it could have been an internet scare that said he died and he didn't. It could have been a heart attack where everybody thought it was terminal. It wasn't. I don't know. But the major idea, folks, is that they can now clone people. We are now an industry able to be replaced as such with somebody superior to us genetically and personally and everything else. And they've probably been doing this for decades, which we know they have. But now it's on paper. They're ready to move forward. And as CERN is with the LHC, this factory, no doubt, is headed and funded by the international organizations running this planet for the UN and NATO. And they will begin to start to probably push these clones out into production. I don't know when. I don't know how. Uh, more than likely, they're going to get an ind a surplus industry of cattle and canines and everything else before they work on pushing people into the mainstream. But it's very, very interesting, folks. Please stay tuned. Thank you. As always, God bless and have a good night. I tried to bring you this earlier, but circumstances beyond my ability have made it to where I had to do this late. Thank you.